The flow-on effects from Holden's turbulent a few months is already being felt with real estate insiders telling Nine News sales inquiries have suffered due to the uncertainty. They warn the northern suburbs market will be devastated if the Elizabeth plant closes. Roy Laird's been in real estate for 25 years. He's also coached Centrals to seven premierships. The club's major sponsor is Holden. From day dot when Elizabeth was formed, um, Holden were here. Um, so look, they've been an integral part of the success of the sub, uh, northern suburbs. Despite yesterday's union vote, the plant's future remains tenuous. Several real estate agents working in the northern suburbs have told Nine News it would devastate the area if Holden closes. The impact can only be negative for the area, certainly not something we don't want to consider. Industry insiders say when Ford announced its impending closure back in May, real estate inquiries in Adelaide's north simply dried up as speculation shifted to Holden's future. As one put it, the phone just stopped ringing. The flow on effects prompting some councils to increase their local fleet purchases. Tea Tree Gully, though, won't be among them. Mayor Miriam Smith voting down a proposal because she once owned a Holden she claims had a blind spot. She's since switched to a Toyota. I think it's a slap in the face to the workers uh, uh, of Holden in South Australia. Um, the, uh, the rationale was, was ludicrous and, uh, and, and absolutely ridiculous. The state government, though, prepared to write a big cheque, but not a blank one, for a company it says is simply too big to fail. Well, we think it is in South Australia. That's why we're providing this support. Tom Richardson, 9 News.